Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be repotting my Hoya Matilda into a pot like this one here. But first let me show you the wonderful flowers that are blooming on this plant. There's about three or four bunches and this one here is the biggest one we have so far. Here's a quick close-up of that one. I always like to use terracotta pots for all my Hoyas and today I'll be using a mix of perlite and plain potting mix. I usually use the Osmocote cactus soil, but today I'm just using plain potting soil. Any potting soil should be fine for this mix as long as it's well draining, as most Hoyas don't usually like to sit in a lot of water. If you want to use the Osmocote potting mix and the perlite pictured, you can usually pick them up from your local bunnies. As you can see here, I'm using two parts soil to one part perlite. I always start by adding some soil to the bottom of the pot. You want your plant to have something to grow into as it gets bigger. You might need to adjust this depending on the shape of your previous pot though. And if you're finding it still isn't fitting, you might need to upgrade the pot size. I recently learnt something new about the Hoya Matilda. It's actually a hybrid between the Hoya Carnosa and the Hoya Serpens. You can see that the Hoya Matilda gets its shiny leaves and smooth appearance from the Hoya Carnosa, but it gets its round leaves and creeping habit from the Hoya Serpens. When you're ready and have measured out the soil in your new pot, gently remove your Hoya from its old pot. This may take some time, especially if your plant is root bound or is stuck like mine. You'll see here that I'm going to use a stick to gently loosen the plant from the side wall of the pot. You can also use a chopstick or a barbecue skewer if you've got one. I've had this plant now for a little over two years. I bought it at the start of 2021 and it was only about 10 to 15 centimeters long, so it's come a long way since then. I believe I bought this one on eBay and I get most of my plants and Hoyas from eBay just because it's easier to have them posted. I live in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne so back in 2021 there weren't very many places around where you could get indoor plants or like unusual varieties of plants. So I'm very lucky now because there's so many shops around. You can see here I'm having to adjust the soil a little bit. Don't be shy to take some out as you don't want your plant sitting too high. Once you're happy with where your plant is sitting, just go ahead and start to fill in the sides. Whenever I work with any vine plants, I like to sprinkle some soil over the top and give it a tap. This gets rid of all the excess soil on top, so whenever I water my plant next, all the soil and tan bark and things don't run over the sides. And here I'm just adding some finishing touches. Sometimes I'll also add wire pins just to keep the Hoya vines down from going crazy and all over the place. But I'll show you that again in another video. There you have it. Your Hoya is all good to go, just don't forget to give it a generous watering before placing it back. And lastly I'll show you the fertilizer I've been using. I picked it up from Bunnings and so far I've been able to get flowers on my Hoya Matilda and my Hoya Obavada. Thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe for more.